This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 1557, How to Raise World-Changing Children, by Andre and Jeff Schienebarger of becomingminimalist.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome. I am Greg Audino, your host and narrator here on ORD. Happy to be ringing in another Thursday and thus another parenting post with you. So we like to share parenting articles with you on Thursdays and Fridays, and today's comes from becomingminimalist.com, a super popular website uh, that was actually one of the first that we ever read from. And this article today really cuts to the core of parenting, I think, and uh, what we're ultimately trying to achieve as parents. So listen closely. We're going to start the reading now and optimize your life. How to Raise World-Changing Children by Andre and Jeff Schienebarger of becomingminimalist.com. Society has forgotten about the art of raising world changers. Culture tells us that we need to raise our children to be successful. Our children need to be on every sports team, need to have all the video games, need to speak multiple languages, and need to score top grades to go to the best college. Well, we think it's reasonable to say that society has it wrong. There is much more to raising a successful child. The word success now means more than school, sports, and the best things. Our world doesn't just need successful children. Our world needs impact. It needs change. We want to raise kids that will change the world, not just win another baseball trophy to display on a bookshelf. World-changing kids give to others. Our American culture has an amazing way of influencing our kids and ourselves to always want more. If we want our kids to help make the world better, We need to fight the more is better mentality with something different. And let me just say, it is really hard when everyone around you is getting the new American Girl doll, gaming system, electric scooter, or latest phone. How do we teach our kids the reality that we've been given much and to consider our responsibilities for others? Teaching generosity starts young and it must continuously be reinforced. If we only surround our kids with people who keep getting more, Our kids will only want more. But when we have friends in our lives who live a different story and are content, our kids gain a broader perspective of what they've been given and how they can give toward others. One idea? Every time your children invites friends over, encourage them to give a toy away to each friend as a departing gift. Foster the spirit of generosity early. World-changing kids love all people. Kobe Bryant once said, You can't inspire millions of people around the world and not be able to inspire the people within your own home. As a dad, I want to raise kids that will find love, that will raise great kids, and will also do meaningful work with the abilities they've been given. That mentality begins today in how we teach them what is important, how we show them to live, and how to love all people. Teaching our kids to love all people, especially those who are different than us, allows open-mindedness and diversity of perspective into their lives. This love of diversity is essential to changing the world. One idea? Introduce your children to a community of people different from them. It may be hard, but you could join a community gathering, you could research a different culture, or even watch a documentary about a people group that is different from your own. World-changing kids have courage. What they catch us doing, they will also do. If kids see us living out of fear, they too will live out of a scarcity mindset. If we make decisions out of fear or what-ifs, then they will see that the fear of the unknown leads my path, and they will be afraid of pursuing big scary dreams. If they catch us living out of courage, they too will have greater opportunity to believe that they can follow their dreams. This is where parents often have a hang-up and get stuck in a safety mentality. I'm just trying to keep my kids safe, they exclaim. We must shift our outlook past a fixed mindset of safety as the only priority in parenting. When we introduce appropriate and reasonable amounts of trials and difficulties to our kids, it will cause them to begin problem solving. Teaching our kids what it means to be problem solvers will cause them to think bigger. It reminds them that they are global citizens and they must have courage to change the world. One idea? Introduce problem-based learning. Focus on a social issue in society and invite your kids to brainstorm ways to solve this problem. If you're brave, take one more step and do that idea with your child. To raise kids that will change the world, we must introduce them to the world. 
The world is vast, and each culture and community has something unique and important to teach us. Each new experience we choose to introduce to our children expands their hearts and their capacity to love more and accept others who are different and treat all people with the dignity they deserve. We're all different, and yet we have so many elements of the human condition that are very much the same. As parents, we have the opportunity to show our kids that we learn from those who are different from us. One idea? Travel can be hard, but take a road trip and explore the indigenous people groups and their lands in the United States. Learn about the people groups that inhabited the land before us. Explore and learn together. Seeds planted in youth have created some of the greatest movements in history. If the next generation is raised as thoughtful citizens, our work, our love, our world will change. Let's commit to equip our kids to impact our future and push back against society's views of success. The next generation could be world changers if we teach them how to give, how to love, and how to have courage. You just listened to the post titled, How to Raise World-Changing Children, by Andre and Jeff Schienebarger of becomingminimalist.com. And a big thank you to Andre and Jeff, a duo that we haven't heard from before, uh, but are very happy to be featuring. Now, we've heard some big ideas in this article, and ultimately what they boil down to are just leadership qualities, right? And unfortunately, in the fracas of grades and trophies and those other measurable forms of accomplishment, some of which they mentioned, it can be hard to recognize leadership and therefore hard to instill it. There's a lot of subjectivity around developing good character, but it's highly important for raising the world changing children that we've heard about today. So, if it helps, Uh, Think to yourself about how you view a leader uh, or world-changing person. What qualities do they exhibit? And if you were to craft this person, what would you do to make sure those qualities are taught to them? Can you turn these ideas into specific actions like some of the ones mentioned today? You know, it can be so important to come up with concrete action steps like this when we are considering how to navigate these types of situations uh, that don't really come with playbooks, if you will. So instead of just thinking about leadership, consider how you can outwardly display and teach it to your children and make it as common of a practice as driving them to school. I'll leave you to that, everyone. I appreciate you joining me today as always. And uh, if you like this post, be sure to come on back tomorrow as there will be another parenting episode here on The Ledger. That's where your optimal life awaits.